Hello everybody, we've been using the planting kits tonight. I tried to record our Zoom, but I've failed. So I'm just gonna walk you through very quickly what's in the kit and how to get going. So you'll find that you've got about four of these yogurt pots and they've all got holes in the bottom. Oh, that one's a bit dirty. Um, they've got holes in the bottom and that's to allow the water to drain through. So it's good to have a tray or something for the pots to sit in. So I've just got this old fruit tray here. In the bottom of the bag, you've got some compost. It's a good idea to open the compost in the bag so it doesn't go everywhere. What you need to do is fill up your pot with compost. Let me show you that. So I'm gonna fill it up to the top. I'm gonna take one of my other pots and just squash this down a little bit. So I make sure that I've not got any air pockets in the soil. I'm going to top up the compost and then press it down again. So you can see it's almost to the top of the pot now, all of that soil. And then I'm going to water it. If you haven't got a little fancy pants watering can like I have, what you can do is use a water bottle and you can put some holes in the lid of a water bottle and that works just as well. There you go, I'm watering my soil through. And hopefully you'll see the water just starting to come through the bottom of the pot. That's what we want. We want to make sure that all of the soil is moist. Then if you take one of your packets of seeds, and I'm going to take this one, which is California peppers. Uh, yeah, California wonder peppers. And inside, I've got a little foil packet here. You open this really carefully because the seeds are quite small and they can easily fall out. So there's a good handful of seeds in there. And what you want to do is make sure that you spread your seeds around the pot. So I like to think of a dice and a, a number five on a dice is a good way to go. You might find that some of them you have more than um, more than five seeds in each packet. So you don't need to sow them all, just sow five or six of them. And then you can have another sowing later on if you want. Okay, so I'll put that back in the packet. And what I'm gonna do is take a bit more of my soil, just give it a light covering so that the seeds are covered. And then we'll press it down again with our other pot. Sorry, I realise you can't quite see what I'm doing there. And then we'll water it in. And then the most important thing is to put a label with the name of the seed in. So make sure you should have some of these plant labels. Now they work with a Sharpie, so you might need to put the Sharpie on there and add that into your pot so that you know you're actually uh, what you've got in your pot. Because when seeds come up, they start to look very similar. And I'll show you some examples. So here, this is a sweet pepper. And this is a chilli pepper. And you can see they're both from the same family. So they look very similar. Um, but you get quite a surprise if you thought you were eating a, a normal pepper and it was a chilli. And then when your tomatoes come up, because there's some tomatoes in the kit as well, they should start to look a bit like that. After about two and a half, three weeks, they should be growing quite strongly. And the bigger the tomato, the bigger the plant you'll find. So yes, once you've done that, make sure you clean up nice and well, especially if you're anywhere where you might have food, make sure you give it a good wipe down with an anti-back wipe. Make sure you wash your hands thoroughly before you eat any food. Our compost has come from the polytunnel, so we have found a couple of creatures in it. We have um, sieved it as well as we possibly can, but because it's a natural product uh, and because we've made it ourselves, you might find that you have a few extra worms to add to your garden. So that's a very quick guide. Um, obviously, I'm up at the Pork Friction kitchen every week, so if you've got any questions, do ask me. But uh, happy growing, everybody.